Hello everybody, this is Will Robson here, artist of Spawn Kills Everyone 2. The sequel to Spawn Kills Everyone, the one shot by Tom McFarlane at Image Comics. So, I usually don't do pencils on uh, my channel, but I figured I'd start doing it. I want to show everyone, you know, the whole process of how I work. And I know Todd likes to post a lot of videos on his YouTubes, so I figured I'd do the same. Um, I'm just loading up now on my phone the live stream so that I can get this bad boy going. If you can hear some snorting, that's because of my dog. Oh, Jim Lee just started going live. So I guess everyone's going to go leave and, and uh, <laughs> see that. So give me two seconds, folks. I'm just getting set up. I want to get the right logo going here. Do, 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 do. Got a nice pretty blank page in front of us. My dog is very snorty today. She was just rolling around on the floor. I don't know why it automatically makes the icon for my video Secret Warriors. It's kind of annoying. But we'll have to deal with that for now. Okay, I've got this loaded up, so let me get the chat going. Okie doke. Good to go. Right, so, we got a pretty blank page in front of us, so what I usually do first is I go over here, you see I've got a bunch of laid out stuff, because what I usually do is I, I have a blank master page. And this is sort of how I lay everything out, so every time I create a new page, I have all of this stuff here ready to go, with, you know, some stuff for the pencils, panels, like for the inks, a section just for panels. And what I usually do is I go to the rectangle tool. And uh, I just recently switched to 800 DPI. Before I was doing 600. But I just thought the quality was a bit low. I didn't like the way it looked. So I'm switching to this. And what I usually do is a 12. I used to do a 10 when I was in 600. Now I'm in 800. I use a 12. So that's what we have. And that's the thickness of my panels. So... With Tom McFarlane, he writes in what's called Marvel Method over here, you see? So this is uh, the script. I can't show you, obviously, all of it, but we're going to be working on page five today. Um, so it says here, Chibi and the young waitress talk things through as Chibi just drowns his sorrow in a bunch of chocolate milkshakes. The waitress tells him that he should just do what makes him feel good. And he perks up and says, you're right. I'm going to forget them and just do my thing, gives her a kiss, and leaves. So, that is what, all I get in terms of script. Uh, when it comes to working, usually for other companies, I generally get full script where it says page one, panel one, description of what happens, the actual dialogue and stuff, but with McFarlane, he just pumps it out this way. So, if you just watched one of his recent live streams with him uh, lettering, or talking about lettering for Spawn, the main series, he you can see a bit of his script, which I thought was funny because, you know, it says that the script he gives me is the same for everybody. So, I've already done page four, which I'll happily show you because there's no spoilers. Because um, obviously I don't want to spoil anything. I want people to actually pick up the book and read it. So I penciled this yesterday. So what we have is Spawn goes to a diner and he's drinking a bunch of milkshakes. We got these dudes looking at him, this little ginger kid here looking at him. Uh, and I can say that because I'm ginger, ginger power. Um, so, and then I have him sort of looking at this waitress here, being like, top me up with another milkshake barge. It's been a long day. So that's what I have going on there. So now, into the next page here, we have to continue it. So let me just double look at the script again. Chibi and the young waitress talk things through as Chibi just drowns his story on a bunch of milkshakes. Okay, so I'm going to have, I'm going to have a big panel, not too big. Big panel like this here, and I'm going to have the waitress sort of pushing over, sliding another milkshake over to spawn as he looks all sad. And then I think I'll have a little panel of spawn talking, a little panel of, um, let's make this a bit bigger, 
Do I want to overlap? I may want to overlap. You'll probably hear me go quiet a couple times. So basically what I want to do is I want to have pushing the milkshake, Spawn looking sad, the waitress saying something, and him being like, Eureka, that's it. Give her a big kiss and then leave. So quite a lot of panels. I want the last panel to be big as he leaves the place. So that's what I'm going to make there just so I know that big panel's there. My dog is currently running around with a slipper, chucking it in the air, having a grand old time. So if you hear any moving about, that's what's going on there. Hey, good morning, Gabriel. How's it going? Or Gabrielle. I don't know if it's Gabriel or Gabrielle. I don't even know if they're spelled the same. I'm, I'm very ignorant. I'm sorry. Um, I think we can make this panel, oops, smaller up here. So I'm just going to slide this out, hold down shift. If I hold down shift, then when I move it, it will slide up. Oops. Hold down shift, it will slide up. There we go. So let's make that panel that big. Let's go to panel three. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And then we want, we want a fun kissy panel. That'll be, that'll be the smooch there. So let's select that and then delete the panel below. This is why I have three layers going so I can layer everything like that. And then maybe we'll just do, hmm. This is the fun part about creating comics, is knowing where to put all these dinky panels. Well, maybe I won't show another shot of Spawn. Maybe I'll just do the woman and then his Eureka look. I think that works. But let's jazz let's jazz this up a bit. Let's cut that paste. I like to move the panels around a bit so that there's just a bit more excitement on the page, if that makes any sense. So let's have that like that. And then what we got here? This is just this panel. So let's move this one up. And we should move this one down. Let's clear this panel. Let's start this panel again. Move this over so it has a bit more gutter space. And then, do we want to make this a big thing like that, taking up half the page? Luna, could you stop making noise, please? Thank you very much. Noisy doggo. What is the work for today? Today we're doing Spawn Kills Everyone 2. Image Comics. Me and Mr. McFarlane drawing it up. Uh, I'm not in love with this panel layout. I'm going to start again. A lot, of, a lot of the book, you know, making a comic comes from... I think the excitement of the panel layout.
Okay, I'm going to stick with this. You see how there's a blank bit at the bottom? That's because what I want to do is... Let's combine those up. I'm just going to use the blankness of the page to draw a big spawn head because it's only just like a... What? Like a like a shocked spawn look. Sukes Popcorn says, Morning, Will. Love the fact you're showing the world how you illustrate live. This is great for fans of Sins like Keep up the fab work. So, thank you very much. <coughs> Sorry if I'm coughing. I'm still still getting over a cold because I have colds for years, apparently. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six panels going here. It's so funny, I, I get to choose how many panels there are and I end up giving myself tons of panels. Go figure. Okay. So let's create a new folder. Actually, let's delete that folder. Let's just duplicate this. Because it's already got layers in it. Six. Because there's six panels. Got a roughs down here. Good to go. So let's get to Penston. So I'm going to draw uh, a, a spawn, sort of, like, he's reacting like that's it that's the key so if anybody has any questions just let me know and I will answer them whilst I pencil So he's got a big, big open eyes. I like to start with eyebrows first. I feel like most of your emotion will come from the eyebrows. And since he doesn't really have eyebrows, but he has he has a brow. That's what I'm going to go for first. So big, big open eyes. Let's move these eyes to a different spot on his head. Now he looks a bit worried. What's that? I think his eyes need to be open a bit more as well. Should he be facing this way? Or should he be facing? Let's just, let's save this panel. Boop, gone. It's still there, just in case I go back to it. Let's create a new layer. Do we want him facing more... to the side? I think the side would be... in a more of a profile. I think that would be a bit cooler. No, that's not working. That's not working. <laughs> Let me go back to see what we did before. Ah, this is fine. This will do. How big do we want this to be? <laughs> nice big snort from my dog. That's a good size. This baby spawn or chibi spawn, he's got a tiny neck. I'm gonna add some flaps under his eyes. And this is where his brow will be, it will be much higher. Because before he just looked a bit concerned. And then I'm just gonna put this in here. So I might do some focus line stuff. I'm 
to be one of the little mouths. I'll keep that in there and then we'll decide in inks if I want to keep that mouth. Okay, so Spawny, he's got his little little skulls. Which keep his his cape on here. They go there, and then his cow is behind him. So having, I'm trying to make him pop a bit, and his hand, I may put a hand here, and it may pop over the panel, just because I want this to be a big revelation panel, like, you know, he's really discovered, he's figured something out that was making him upset. chest, the big fat tom, and just, she, does he want a little smirk, like, yeah, like, that's right, that little smirk that's like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Right, his body is looking a bit too big for his head, so we're just going to select his body, move it around a bit, That's fine. A lot of my pencils come down to me being like, nah, that's, that's good. Let's get a hand in here. Let's do big circles for the hand and the knuckle. he's going to be holding his milkshake. Zook's pop culture. I'm guessing that's Adam. If you're still in here. I'll be appearing at his Comic Con, Medway Comic Con, at the end of this month. Looking forward to that. Along with, I'm a guest along with our Adams, which is pretty cool. And a bunch of other cool people in comics and in the film industry. Always have a good time at Medway Comic Con. His fingers are a bit long here. So we're going to. I'm going to free transform them and we're just going to squidge them in a bit. This is why I love working digitally. Because I can work as loose as I am here and just fix stuff on the fly where I, I think it needs to be fixed. So we're going to erase some of this so we have some space for this chocolate milkshake so 
Jesus, the milkshake needs to be bigger. Because it's America. Amer Americans love big milkshakes, right? Go big or go home. sure about the mouth. Well, I'll keep it in there just for now. How's it going, Richard? You'll be happy to know, everyone, that I finally started putting proper thumbnails on my videos. So, every time I go live, it still says Secret Warriors, and I don't know why. Besides that, I'm good to go. Join some sexy ice cream here. Thinking about it like chewed up bubble gum. Again, like on one of my other previous streams, if you don't know how to draw something, sometimes it's best to think about what you're drawing as being something completely different. And I use chewed up bubble gum for a lot of stuff clouds and pizza and all types of stuff. Everything's big in America, as they say. Yep, damn right, Richard. When I was in America, I was bigger too. <laughs> it was fatter in America when I lived there. Let's put a nice cherry on top of this milkshake. And do we want to go crazy? Do we want to add sprinkles on top of this ice cream up here? Just to add a bit more detail. Shake without a straw. Also, his hand down here is too small, so we gotta make that hand a bit bigger. Is that your dog snoring or your girlfriend? That's my dog snoring. My girlfriend, or well, my fiance, actually. She's uh, she's at work. stream without some dog snoring. We all know that. The, the smooth, docile tones of a French bulldog slowly snoring away. I'm going to make this ice cream bigger on here as well. Now, I don't like this smirk anymore, so getting rid of that. I think spawn might be a bit too big now for the space. Put in now that it's cows in there. Just hungry. <laughs> oh, I am hungry, and I have no food in the house, and I have a food delivery coming at three o'clock, and I haven't eaten breakfast, so I'm gonna be very hungry very soon. My dog, she's eaten. 
Now what do I, what do I want to do? Over here. I think instead of focus lines, I'm just going to have a big thing like that. Um, do I want to add another hand? Or do I want to just... No, I want to just be down by side. I guess I'll put his hand like this, like it's sitting on the countertop. Drawn his studded bracelet. Which is super fun to draw. At first I had, you'll see on the first couple of pages when Spawn Kills Everyone comes out, I made them proper spikes, but over time I've just turned them into circles instead of spikes because I think they just look a bit cuter for the character. Looney, you're right on my leg. And let's make this bracelet bigger as well. I give him gigantic limbs. There you go, and what I like to do is, I like to, I have a shading layer, which is just a regular gray layer with the opacity turned down to 11. And then what I do is I go to the lasso fill tool and this is just for the pencil stage. I like to block out some of the solid blacks just so it's clearer what I've drawn. Because obviously, as you can tell, my pencils are extremely loose, but being the inker myself, it doesn't really matter. This also gives me an idea of how I want to go about shading when it comes to shading. Still not sure about the size. Do we want to go super big? Or are we big enough? Or are we too small? So let's play around, shall we? Let's spawn a little though, which works. That's a gigantic spawn, which gets rid of all the nice detail we've already drawn. How does he stick out on the page? Because I want him to pop. Yeah, I think that's good. And then what we're going to do is, with the panels, let's combine all of these layers. And let's duplicate it. Let's duplicate. Let's duplicate. Oh, there it is. And then we'll close this. Um, I keep the duplication because what I'm about to do is I'm going to erase the panel here to signify that his hand's going to be popping out over it so that he, you know, that he actually pops. But when I go into actually doing the panels, I'll just, I have this here um, so that when I, ah, you'll see later on. It's not important right now. No. Let's get rid of excess fat on the other panels on the shading layer and what are we going to do how big do we want this to be so I think we're going to have that pop as well So that panel pops a bit more. Can't remember well were you were you an invincible reader? And if so, what do you think of how they ended? Um 
I was an invincible reader. I read the first 50 or so issues and loved it. And then I randomly stopped reading because I, I just, um, I had to take it off my pool list because I couldn't afford it at the time. And I actually haven't gone back since, but I kind of know what's going on a bit. I'm a huge Ryan Otley fan. I love his artwork. Um, so I'm hoping to one day finish off reading Invincible because it is a great book. Okay, we got this panel done. Let's go up to, let's do panel one now. So I want to draw a very sad looking spawn. And actually, I'm glad I didn't do a profile shot because I'm doing a profile shot up here. I don't want to repeat, you don't want to repeat too many of the same heads in the same position. Um, it'll make the page boring. We've got a very sad looking spawny here. Oh, life is hard. I'm just gonna drown my sorrows in, in milkshakes. This is his version of going to like the bar. But he's too young, he's a baby spawn. shoulder up a bit. Might make him pout a bit. I might shut the eye even more. You kind of owe it to yourself to do so. Still, the great superhero comic and Ryan Otley's art is just lovely. I don't, I don't disagree. I'm a big Ryan Otley, um, Ryan Otley fan and a Robert Kirkman fan. I've been reading Walking Dead since 2006, and I'm still reading it today. It's my number one on my pull list every every month, and I also read his um, Outcast. So I do need to get back to. Finishing off Invincible. Just don't have the money for it right now. Or the time to read it. Too busy making comics. So what am I trying to do with this head here? I'm going to draw in bracelets let's get a hand going resting hands Like to do is I like to flip the canvas every now and then to see how it looks from a different angle. And now that I've flipped it, I can see that his head is way too small compared to his arm. So that should be pretty good because he's got a big old noggin. And even though this is going to be covered up by a cape, it is good to put the anatomy underneath so you know you know where everything should be flowing. But 
This is his little skull thing that holds up his cape. And then his cowl goes like this. Sticks up, it comes around, it's really black. And then his cape will come over his back like this. where his back was and now we've got a fully fledged little spawny little little spawny so this is the counter he's on I don't know what the perspective I want yet for the counter and I'm probably going to put his hand reaching out for this milkshake he's going to be receiving. So there's a baby spawn. Is there also a baby violator? I for some reason really want to see how that looks. <laughs> I wish there was a baby violator. I'll pitch that to Todd because that would be really fun. I would like... That would be great... Great spin-off as well. I mean, Baby Violator, he would just be like an egg, right? I'm talking about the clown version. He'd have, like, the little clown here. He'd probably be, like, a giant smile. Big old clown feet. Big hands. <laughs> yep. That's exactly how I draw him, like this. With the M over his head. Maybe I'll make that a stuffed toy in his, uh, in Spawn's house. That'd be good fun. Good idea. Great job. Full marks. So this is where his new milkshake will go. with the sprinkles and the cherry on top The problem with drawing this comic is that I have drawn so much junk food. Pizza, hamburgers, french fries. It makes me starving. I'm, I'm trying to be on a diet as well. I'm failing miserably. So there's his milkshake. So I'm going to... Flip the canvas, and I need to put his hand, his other hand somewhere.
good. Now, what was on the table next to him? A bunch of empty milkshakes and a couple of empty bowls of ice cream. So I don't want to cover up. I want this nothing to be covering up the milkshake itself so it stands out. So I'll just push the empty bowls of ice cream over a bit. And I'll put a knock down empty milkshake thing here. Another back here. As you know, the colors will clash if I do that. So let's just assume that she's cleared the table in there, in their conversation. There's a menu back here. So we've got to extend this table out a bit more. I don't know why I oddly go like this. I got top it like this the end of my breath or something. Let's put an empty. There we go. Cool. Make a new layer for the lady because I don't want it to get too muddy going on here. And let's just Drop the opacity a bit on that layer. I'm doing the weird thing with my voice again. Yeah, new kid toy. Well, um, McFarlane did say to me, he's like, hey, if this book does well, then we can make a line of toys for it. And I was like, that would be freaking amazing. So I wanted pushing it, and usually... Like pushing it in between her fingers towards, you know, like she's sliding it across to him. So, I'll get some fingers going here. Now, as you, if you can tell, I don't do layouts, but that's because I always have pretty much in my mind what I'm going to do. So I skip that stage and it saves me a lot of time. Now with human hands, I make them more square than I do... I still make the knuckles round, but uh, I make them more square than I do with Spawn's hands, or fat, or what I call fat people's hands. The way I draw Spawn's hands is the way I draw fat people or big muscly dudes. Anybody that's got, like, bear claws for hands. where her thumb would be, but I'm going to leave the thumb in there just in case I, I want to use it. forward a bit so her head is in the shot. Maybe I can make her a bit smaller.
You speaking with Todd is just beyond comprehension for me, especially when following you when you were still fighting to get anywhere near where you are now. So amazing. Thank you very much. It's very mind blowing to me as well. It's, I mean, he's my he's my art hero. He's the reason that I got interested in comic book art in the first place. I saw his Spider Man work and it really made me love comic book art. So to now, you know, freaking make a book with him, chat on the phone with him, it's just, it's nuts. So, I have a little Easter egg here. The woman serving Spawn is actually a creator and character of mine. This girl right here, Elizabeth, she's from my Leave Not Alive comic. I just thought it'd be fun to chuck her in. Because I always enjoy drawing her, so why not have her give Spawn some advice and, and get a smooch from him. Would love to hear the story of when Tom McFarlane approached me. Uh, I actually approached him. <laughs> I uh, I told the story on a different live stream, but I'll tell it again since we're on Spawn. Uh, what I did was Great Lakes Avengers was ending. I didn't know where or what I'd be doing next because you know I was the mainstay on that book. It was supposed to be an ongoing series. So I was like, great, I got a gig, you know, a paid gig now. For the foreseeable future, I'm all set up. Don't have to worry about looking for other work. But then I got an email saying that the book was cancelled. From the, the higher ups at Marvel. And they said, nothing to do with your work. You did a great job, but... The, uh, the sales just weren't what upper management was expecting. Or wanted from it. And it scared me. I was like, oh my god, it's like... I have bills and the rent, I just, because, you know, when, when I broke into Marvel, I, like, moved house, um, and I set up a bunch of stuff, and, and you know, bills, paying off furniture, and all, all this adult stuff. And I was scared, I was like, where the, he where the heck am I gonna go next? And Marvel did say to me, don't worry, we, we love your work, and we want to get you on more stuff, and thankfully they did do that, but, you never, I didn't know, they could just be sugarcoating the situation. So, I was I watched a live stream of McFarlane, and I was like, God, I love I love this guy, I love his artwork, I love his positivity. I was like, I would love to work on the main Spawn series, or anything Spawn. So what I did was, I was like, well, I have one contact at Image Comics, so I know the Image Comics email. So I tried to email McFarlane at Image, email didn't go through. I was like, alright. And then I was like, well, let me look on his website. And I looked at, like, the contact us for his website. So I saw what his email stuff was. And I was like, okay. And I tried a bunch of different combinations of, like, his first... Initial of his first name and last name and, and all that stuff. To try and figure out his email. And, I, and eventually I, I found it. 
and, it, and an email sent through. And I was like, oh god, I just emailed Tom McFarlane. And in the email it just said, Marvel artist Will Robson looking for work. I said in the email, I, I'm a big fan of uh, Spawn. And I would love to work with you on any Spawn projects you might have on the table. Um, here's some samples of mine. So I, I attached a bunch of Great Lakes Avengers. Uh, I attached... Um, variant covers of Deadpool, um, Star Wars, but I think the one that stuck out for them was my cover for um, Deadpool the Duck I did, the variant cover for Deadpool the Duck, which had a very cartoony looking little duck character. Um, shall we? I'll, I'll try and show that to you. Let's have a look here. Uh, Yes, I Google myself all the time. There's lots of Google stuff up here. <laughs> Will Robson. Deadpool. The Duck. Here it is. So this is one of the covers that I attached. With Amazing Colors by Tamra Bond Villain. Great cover. I still really like this cover to this day. I think it's it's good fun. Um, did that with Heather Rantos, who's an awesome, awesome editor at Marvel Comics. So that was in the attachment, and they're like, "Oh, um, I got I got an email back, but it wasn't from McFarlane. It was from uh, his comics coordinator or editor, I guess you could say." And she was like, "Hey, thank you for contacting us. Um, could you send us more samples?" And I was like, "Oh, wow. Okay." So I started sending more samples. And by the way, this this girl, she's all out, types out of whack. She needs to, her body's too big, and then she's not going to fit in the panel. There's some problems going on here. She's also, she looks too stiff as well. She needs to be bending down more like that. So, yeah, I got a response, I sent more samples, and then I kept talking to this, uh, the talent coordinator, and she's like, T uh, Todd really, I showed Todd your work, um, and he really likes it, and I was like, oh my god, Tommy Fallon has just looked at my artwork, that's crazy. Um... And she's like, can you, are you available for a phone call? And I was like, what? Yeah, of course I am. And she's like, all right. And we set it up. It took a little while to set up for when he was free, because obviously he's like the busiest person ever. But we got, we got it set up. I got on the phone with him. The first thing he said was, is this the famous, world famous Will Robson comic book artist? And I was like, you got damn right it is. <laughs> Which he liked. He appreciated that. I wasn't blasé about it or anything. And um, we got to chatting, and he's like, yeah, I'm thinking about doing a new Spawn Kills Everyone book. And he's like, what type of characters do you like to draw? And I was like, oh, I love Batman and stuff like that. And he's like, okay, so here, here we go. So Spawn's hanging upside down in the Batcave, and he's pretending to be a bat, and he's going to kill him. And I was like, whoa, so I'm involved in the story making? And that was really exciting to know that I had input into the actual book instead of just an artist for hire. Man, I don't know what's going on with this head that I've created here. I think this is going to be a chuck away. I'm going to start with her head instead because the head's the most important piece that needs to stick in here. So I got to chatting with him. And he's like, when are you free? And I was like, I'm free right now to get going on this. He's like, all right, let me write up a script. I told Marvel, hey, I'm off to do this McFarlane thing. But then Marvel came back with such uh, such good projects for me to work on. Stuff, I, you know, really tempting stuff. They're like, hey, I know you're going to go off and do this, but 
do you want to do Spider-Man and Deadpool? And I was like, oh my god, yes, I would love to draw Spider-Man and Deadpool. Like, that's knocking two birds off with one stone of characters I want to draw professionally. So I was definitely got sucked into that and a couple other things. And I told McFarlane, and, and he's like, don't worry, there's plenty of time on this project. So wrap up your other projects, and then we'll get going. So that's what I did, and I'm now on issue two, and we're we're going. We're getting it done. And that's what happens. So I'm all for blind emailing people, if you can figure out their emails. Because you never know who's going to talk to you. One of my favorite covers by you, and Todd's amazing still to this day giving as much to do it as to to people as he does sound spicy. Yep, he definitely is. How's it going, Sheen? Or Sean? I'm really bad at, at knowing how to pronounce people's names. I have a bit of drawers block on this girl here. But I'm trying. So that's the story. And now my goal is to hopefully build up a good relationship with him. So one, I could do more work on Spawn because I still want to work on the main title. And two, when I go to pitch my creator on books to image, I've got in my back pocket being a you know working with the guy that is the president of Image Comics so that definitely helps helps with future endeavors man I can just can't seem to draw this girl right now She's coming together a bit better now. Profiles are always difficult to draw. Great story, love it. Thanks for sharing. Any idea of when Spawn is due for release? I think it will be coming out probably at near the end of the year, around August, I think. I was going to ask if you were eventually going to do credit and stuff. Yes, it's a huge goal of mine. Um, I have, right now, I just let it up three issues of a creator on book I'm doing, which is a little zombie thing, uh, drawn by Marco McCagney. And I'm getting ready to get it coloured. Uh, I've already lettered it. Leaded it, it, and I'll get it all coloured up, and then I'll pitch it to Image. Because 
I really want to break in as a writer. I want to be able to write and draw my own comics, whether it's for the big two or just for myself. Because there honestly is nothing better than being your own boss in all aspects. And then once Spawn's done, I'm going to, hopefully, I would like to go back to Marvel, because I'm very happy working there. I've been in talks with DC as well. Maybe something might be happening. But I'd love to go back to Marvel and be a mainstay on a book. You know, like I was with Great Lakes Avengers, I'd like to get back to being the main artist, not just a... Uh, not just a side artist, no. How big is she compared to Spawn? That's fine. And how's the old body you made look? I think it can be salvageable. Let's get rid of this head that we put in there. Yep, that's definitely salvageable. Cool, so let's... Get rid of that. Buying these layers. And the problem is the milkshake's there, so she would be up here. And also that arm is still too small. This arm here looks weird. Her hand is too big compared to the wrist. And then the arm itself is too small. So I want to fit, I want to fit her in like to be about this big. I guess I can make do with this, and I think we'll have to make spawn smaller. Like that. pupil down, so she's looking down. And that should be gold. There we go. And then I think also we can move them over both a bit. Like that.
Doke. And then... Now, you know how I erased some panel stuff, but then I kept an extra copy? That's for this step right here. You see, if I select inside the panel, like that, and I go back up to what we drew, and I click that button, which clears all outside of that shape, and I can clear out excess stuff quickly. So that's what I'm going to do down in these lower panels, but I'm going to use this other panel layer to do it, because obviously these have been erased a bit. So we got spawned there. Now, do I want a background in that panel? I think if I put a background in, it might be too busy, because the focus really just needs to be on those two. Um, I will just draw in, let's add a white layer. Because I don't want the, the panel to be too bland. I'm going to add a white layer, I'm going to put it around Elizabeth. And I'm going to put it around Spawn. And everything else. And then I'm going to make another new layer. I'm going to put that below that white layer. So now whatever we draw doesn't affect what's in the foreground. So I know over here... I could put someone eating a... Or sitting at a booth. Let's make it a fat guy, because obviously fat guys, they're the ones that dine at bars, or diners, right? I'm a fat guy, so I'd be eating them. What's this guy's story? Why is he eating at this bar, or this diner at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? No, no, I don't want to make him sad. <laughs> I just did the eyebrow the uh, naturally, like, he's just, like, just guilt-eating at a diner. And let's have him in mid-munch. So he's gone. And he's, he don't care that there's a tiny little spawn man there. He's just too busy focusing on how good his meal is. I don't know what I'm going to do with his hair. I might leave him bald. I don't usually draw too many bald people because it looks lazy, I think. It sounds weird, I know, but since he's a fat guy, you give him the spawn hand, the fat spawn hands. Big old burger. God, I'm starving now. I just want a big old burger. Veggie burger, though. Don't want to hurt no animals. This guy, he don't care. He'll eat animals. He's got no sympathy. He's already had a big bite. Sometimes I forget to put the bites already in. So they're chewing on, like, who knows what. Um, should he be holding it with two hands?
He's like, is there pickles in this? I didn't order pickle. I said no pickles. I said no pickles. I'll eat it anyway. I can't be asked. Let's bring his table there. His plate. And on his plate, he's got a nice dollop of ketchup. And some french fries. Oh my god, I love french fries. I want french fries right now. This guy's just in his own world, doing his own thing. Little jacket, little uh, windbreaker like jacket on. Let's give him some flannel because he's a real man. He's a working class man. That's what he is. He's like a construction worker, this guy. He's he's having his lunch break in his favorite diner. He goes there all the time. He don't care that there's baby spawns there. They ain't going to stop his day to day. And he's old. He's got weird, unkept hair because he's... Too busy thinking about burgers. Let's give him some extra eyebrow. That's a very handsome man right there. Look at that dapper man. <laughs> give him a bit on top as well. Like he's holding on. His widow peak's gone so much, but he's still holding on to onto the hair. Okay, let's put him in a booth. Now this is, see, all this stuff I'm doing right now, this is what's keeping me, this is what keeps me going. I'm having fun, right? I'm creating little stories out of background characters. Background characters, you can draw whoever you like. It doesn't matter. If you look at a lot of my background characters, they're usually fat people because they're really fun to draw or they're super expressive, cartoony looking people. Like you can see also here, here's another sort of, not really a fat guy, just like a, midway guy and then this creepy little ginger kid I like to um, I like to do this because it keeps me entertained I get to I feel like I'm properly cartooning and it's good so let's put an empty booth back here because we don't want another face just popping up there because that would be too much let's put a window here Picture frame there. Let's put a door here. Uh, definitely, yeah, this the background works for this definitely. I like these doors in diners that have little circles on them. Like that. She's behind the counter here. Let's have this counter go out like this. We have, yeah, let's have this part of the diner. You know, a diner, it's got to have black and white checkers, right? So we got some black and white checkers there. Good, good, good. that fills up that detail there. And then let's make this whole wall back here. Checkers. Make everything 
chip off a bit more. Let's make this door frame a bit thicker. And then I'm just going to lower the opacity a bit on the background just so that it looks a bit more knocked back because I'll be doing thinner inks obviously for the background. And there we go, full-fledged image. Oh, let's get the shading going. So we got a little spawning here popping out a bit more. There we go, that's a nice little panel there. Cool. Again, let's select. Oops. Let's select inside that panel. And let's clear outside selection. So it's nice and clean. And then we'll click save. Whew, that one took longer than I thought. Let me check up and catch up on the, uh, the old uh, chat. Pratik, hello. I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name, but hello. Just found your, your channel, love your arts. Thanks very much. Those guys look like Sam and Twitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, actually, I should probably stick Sam and Twitch in the background somewhere. That'd be fun. Howdy all. How's it going, James? What pen pad are you using for such accurate drawing? It says Daryl Coleman. Uh, I'm not a pen pad. I, I'm using, um, I'm drawing on an iPad Pro. Whatever model that is. But that's what I'm using. It's, it's, uh, an iPad Big fan of the pad. Right, so next we want, let's skip panel two and let's go to panel three. Because I want to draw a human face. So let's have a nice shot of Elizabeth here. Some dog snoring going on. Nice, I pretty much do all my drawing on the iPad Pro now. Me too! I think it's awesome. I was skeptic at first, but I've had it since, I think, November. And I haven't gone back to drawing on any other device since. Obviously besides traditional. Snore. Snore. Are you breathing? Snore. That's a big snore. So we do our lips here. We want her to be smiling.
saying, if you do what you love, then blah, 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 blah. Nice big old eyes. I might make them a bit smaller, but we'll see. Do what you love, Spawn. She doesn't realize that what he loves doing is killing other superheroes. She's... What, is the, what does it say when someone's... Uh, it's not like assistant murder. What is it when you're associated with murder? Like if you knew about a murder. What is it called? I should know. My freaking fiancé is a uh, crime and forensics... Uh, graduate, so I should really know what that is. Oh, what is it when you're... when you know about a murder? Oh, that was a big step. How many hours did you practice each day when you started drawing. Um, I practiced um, every chance I could. I took it really seriously, so pretty much from when I woke up to when I went to bed, I was drawing except for lunch, dinner, and you know a, an hour break here and there. But I would, I would draw from 10 o'clock in the morning to about four o'clock in the morning. Um, so at least 12 hours a day. I would just dedicate my whole life to it. Uh, that's all I did. I just drew. Tried to get better and better and better. And my God, was that... It was just worth it. Like, it's, honestly, that's, that's what you got to do. You just got to sit down. You got to do it till you, your, your wrist hurts, your knuckles hurt, till your knuckles bleed. Just get it done. Like, the way I draw, I draw now is not how I used to. I used to have to, you know, render out every little detail of the face, like this. To know exactly where everything was. If it was in proportion, and even with the body as well, I used to put lots of render lines around. You can look at my old videos on my channel, you can see me doing this stuff a lot. Uh, because I was not comfortable yet with drawing... Oops, wrong button. Drawing from my imagination. Well, not drawing from my imagination. Understanding form and lighting and stuff like that. But it's different now. I'm a lot faster. I have to be as well because I have deadlines. So you, you'll, you do change. I 
look at a lot of this hair here, you see is, this is all going to be figured out in the inks later on. Which is going to take a long time. This is the background here. Done. This is like a microwave basically up here. Same thing as up there. The microwave there. Where's um, the microwave's up there, and there's the drinks stand down there. So I might need to move the microwave up a bit. And all the drinks here. I don't know if I can fit Tal in, or if Tal's supposed to be back there. Let's put that in temporarily, though. Select inside. Come on. Select inside the panel. Oops. See, now I need to use the other, the old layer, because we erased a bit. So in there. Go to panel three. Boom. Now we got a nice close shot of Elizabeth as she's talking. Lots of space for McFarlane to put whatever silly words he's going to put in there. Save. So we've got three panels left. Let's pop back in the chat. Accessory to murder. That's what it is. Thank you. Is it accessory of or accessory to? Yes, that's what it is. Thank you very much. How's it going, Chris? Hey, Will. Page looking good. Thank you very much. I loved your How to Find Comic Book Art Style Part 1 2. It was very helpful. Thank you very much. It's a very old video of mine. I think I was super ill when I made that as well. I'm a lot thinner in that video as well, sadly. Oh, I'm so fat now. She's an accessory to murder, not of. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. Accessory to murder. That's what she is. Elizabeth has gotten into some trouble. She should have stuck to her own... her own property. Her own franchise. Also, she needs to be looking down. Spawn is a little dude. And she's not... he's not high level. Okay, panel two, we need a sad looking spawn. And a similar shot to this one.
looking very sad. Oh, oh, my name's Spawn, and I'm so sad. Oh, oh, I'm so sad. Oh, life is hard. Life is hard when you're a fictional character. Little skull penance. Penance, is that the right word for holding up a cape? Or is it pendant? Pennant or pendant? You decide. His hand up. Or maybe his hand up. Always good to show emotion of people talking using hands. I know no one really likes to draw hands because they're hard to draw, but learn them because they're your best friends. Hands tell so much emotion. I found, if you see, I break down, when I draw hands, I break down the fingers into little sections. And that, to me, helps me with each individual finger and placement of each finger. And also, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to arch the fingers so they're going, you see, like that. just started the first finger in the wrong arch. And I put this finger too close to the other one. Go, boop. Love digital. Love being able to move stuff around. grabbing the milkshake with this hand and then we'll just assume he switched hands to the other one for that panel
Man, I didn't realize I was going to draw this ice cream so much. I made it so detailed in that bottom panel, and now I have to commit to it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Big. And then what's behind him here? Sort of side bit with some picture frames, okay? Look at that in there. Do, do, do. I think that's the door there. There's a picture frame there. And there's one picture frame here. One picture frame here. How long's the wall going for? It's not too long. That. And we got a background. So let's go to the shading layer. So we know the spawny pops a bit. Quick save. Whew. Round through. Getting some pencils done. Let me check the chat. Anything going on over here? Nope. Oh. What's wrong, guys? Has everyone left? No, we got eight people watching. So feel free to ask any questions, folks. Oh, that was a big snort, Bubba. She's an accessory to the snorting. Okay, so she passes over the milkshake. Spawns like life is pain. She's like, it's chill out, bro. Things are good. And he's like, yeah, bro, things are good. Okay, so the next panel is him kissing her. And I'm assuming in a one, two, three, four, five, panel five, right? Oops, did I make panel six? Why did I make that panel six? That's not panel six. That's panel four, you jabron. There we go. Boom, done. I'm going to make her kiss her in a way, you know, like a Looney Tunes type way. And I'm going to repeat, it's going to be a profile shot again. Um, and do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheat a little bit. Don't tell anybody. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this bad boy. Copy paste. Then I'm going to bring this into here. Scale this puppy up. No, I don't want her head to be the same size as this one up here, because that would look weird. So, are we going bigger? Are we proper zoom in? All zoomed out. Let's try zoomed out right now. Erase some of this stuff, redo her hair so that it comes out differently. Her eyes going to be much more open. And her 
the bell's going to be up. She's shocked. And I think she's going. he's going to be squishing her face. So she's going to have some cheek like that. Looks like she's about to be sick right now, right? Blah! Got a pucker then, lips, girl. So, gonna get some spawn lips on here. <laughs> this is weird. I don't think I've ever drawn a panel of people kissing before, actually. I can't think of it. No, I don't think I've ever drawn... I've drawn people nearly kissing in Star Lords. I had Kitty Pride and Star Lords nearly kissing. And then... Actually, I can double cheat. Where's Spawny? Profile of Spawny. Already drawn. Copy. Edit. Paste. Bring this puppy down. Look at that. Mwah. <laughs> Change his eye because he's not sad anymore. He's happy. I'm going to put her neck back like she's like what let's combine these layers now combine doof let's knock them back so we can put some hands and some other stuff in Hands a bit too big. And I think it needs to be turned, doesn't it? I don't want to cover up the lip part, obviously. I need to get the thumb in there. So we'll just move the hands.
That's a collar there. Just got a hat. Oh. underneath what we just drew so it doesn't all blend together do 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 like that and just bring that back up let's turn this down a bit so it doesn't stick out too much let's have his cape flying back there like he's just jumped And actually, his hand is too big, isn't it? Just a tad too big. So just make it a tad smaller. Like that. Oops. I didn't actually cut off a bit of his pinky back there, so. His little little skull pendant, or what do we say? Pendant? Is it pendant or pennant? It's pendant, right? Pennant, like isn't that for like a religious thing, like sins or something? I really want to sell that he's like squishing her face. Without her suddenly turning into something super ugly. Heart in there to cartoon it up. A few love hearts. One, one, one. Just so that, just so that we know their love hearts, so I don't forget. Because sometimes they get lost. I just. Put a little color in there. Smooch, smooch, smooch. And I'll probably... I'll probably have some focus lines for this one. Because it's dramatic. Change up the, um, the back here because I don't want it looking too much like that top panel. So I'll just do that. They'll be inked separately anyway, so they'll come out looking a bit different. And I think still.
think this needs to be moved over. Just a tad. Like that. Yep. Let's clear outside again. Save it up. Let's drop that color so it doesn't distract from the page. Smooch, smooch, smooch. And now we've got one panel left, which is him. I'm having him sort of running away. Determined. Oof, need a little break there. Let me catch up on the chat. You've got incredibly fast, man. Amazing. Thank you very much. Still here. Gotta go. Thanks for streaming. Bye, Bye James. Drawing him laying the wettest of smooches on her forehead. Uh, no, I think forehead is more like a... Forehead's more of a, like, parent-to-child type kiss on the forehead. But I feel like a big comical smooch on the lips, like Bugs Bunny. That's, I think that's what we're going for here. It's pendant, yes. Penis is the other word you think of. And what is penis? Is that, is that something to do with sin? So it is pendant, cool. Who is my favorite comic book character? Um, of all time, Batman, I would say. And his rogues gallery. At Marvel, Punisher, and um, Captain America are tied for me. Spider-Man, and then Deadpool. And a plethora of, of a lot of people. I love villains more. I mean, just character in general. The Joker is probably my favorite of all time. Right, let's get this wrapped up, shall we? I don't know how long we've been going for. It might have been gone for a couple hours, I assume. So that, talking, looking, smooching. And then I want to make this smaller here. Because everything's been pretty close up. So we want to bring it back into a wide shot of spawn. Running away. I'm not going to do his big pudgy cheeks for this one. Uh, he's not facing the well. I want to be facing more to the front. There we go. A fist. So he's determined. He knows what he has to do. And we'll have Elizabeth looking absolutely shocked and offended in the background. Page today as well. 
but I don't think I'll be live streaming that, guys, because I've got to ink uh, this page here today. But I think I'm going to watch the new season of Jessica Jones while I, I do that. Stomach there, big old tum. Putting down his pendants. He had the right word now. And then to add movement will have his cape proper fluffing out let's make his head a little bit bigger on this body I always draw his head too small for his body that's why I'm worried when I go to conventions to do commissions of him He's always going to have a much smaller head than what he does in the comics. Sorry for the sniffles. Let's turn this more because it's not going in the right angle. There we go. Hands too big. <laughs> this is almost like his, you know, his handies. Chucked his cape to the side. It's because he's big. Doofus feet. Man, why did Todd put all of this detail into Spawn? Bet he regretted it when he started drawing all these extra clamps and stuff on a monthly basis. He's got his skull here, which holds up chains around his belt. Some chains. A 
his little insignia. Gotta make his head even bigger. Let me tilt it as well. Do you need a tilt? Make his leg little front leg a little bigger here. Yeah, it needs to be a bit bigger. And I think his hands here needs to move a bit. Nah, that's fine. It's the good old Robson that's fine. Where do I want? Let's make a white layer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select around spawn. Actually, let's first close that up. <coughs> Excuse me. Select around him, and then we're going to invert that layer and fill with white so now that he's a, himself and we're going to combine those layers so now nothing will blend in if we make another thing oops I just made a new action by accident so let's make a new layer This would be the floor here, right? Let's put it on a Dutch angle. Dutch angle means, like, if you used to watch the old uh, Batman 66 show, you used to always have stuff at Dutch angles. And we'll 
put a stool here because he was sitting on a little stool. Not a little stool. And another stool. This is the counter up here. Here's his milkshake. With the never ending freaking having to draw ice cream. Here's an empty milkshake. He had a bowl in front of him, and another bowl, and then next to him was a hamburger. Took on the side one. Okay, let's drop that down a bit so it blends more into the background. And then we need to get Elizabeth back there. Save and check the chat. Hey, McPepper Games. Can you please tell me a bit about how you got to working with Tom McFarlane on this, please? Um, I did tell this story um, uh, at the beginning of this stream, so if you go back and watch it, I'll t I, you'll tell it. But basically, I contacted him via email. We got to talking, and now we're working together. Thanks to live stream, Will. Uh, have you had you ha have have had you on in the store keeping people entertained? Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Sorry, I couldn't read there for a second. That's fun. Well, I'm glad. I think I have not sweared so far. So that's good because usually I swear on these things. So I'm I'm doing good. Keeping the kids keep keeping it PG kid friendly. We are still streaming though, right? We're still going? Should be. I hope. Let me check. Yeah, we're still going. Nearly two hours. Hey, penciling a page of two hours. That's not bad, buddy. I'm proud of myself. But the page isn't done yet. Hate that mouth. And that nose.
and you're making it look disgusted like Ew, don't just kiss me, random thing. That's disgusting. How to you go? That is gross. So he's got one eye squinted. Like, ugh. It was a bit too big, so I made it a bit smaller. So she has the microwaves up here. And then the drinks holders are down here. And then the drink. Dispenser, you know where you fill up your soda pops. That's there. When fit checkers in, we will. Let's put that back there for now. Let's move the door a bit over. So the door's over here. With the circle window that we love. My hair on Elizabeth. Checkers, and uh, some sort of machine here. We're never going to see this side of the bar, so it's something. There's a hamburger right behind him there. And then let's just put, I don't know, an empty drink up here. A soda or something. Back. That's a fun panel. I like that a lot. This is a fun page. I 
I'm going to have... Well, I can't have lunch yet because my food hasn't arrived. So I'm just going to stare at my fridge and, and cry as I have a little, little non-lunch break lunch break. to go up to the panels, the extra panel layer we have, select inside there, clear outside, boom, what's going on here, what's all this mess here, there we go, and we have got one penciled comic book page people. So let's go through it again, shall we? We got up here. We got Sad Spawn. He's being received his milkshake from Elizabeth. We've got this sexy man in the background. And then we've got Spawn. He's grabbed his milkshake. He's complaining. He's upset. Elizabeth tells him everything's going to be okay and what he should do. And he's like, "Oh my God, that's such a good idea. So good that I could kiss you," which he does. And he runs off to get to go get his stuff done and Elizabeth's back there like wow so two hours for this I'm pretty impressed by that actually uh, that's a lot quicker than what I usually am so I think the stream helps me keep focused and keep going so thank you very much for watching guys um, I may do the inks for this on a live stream I'm not sure uh, depends on how sucked in I get to t on Jessica Jones on TV but we will see. So thank you very much for watching. You can check out my work. Um, uh, I'm going to be on the Thanos Annual coming up. Um, I think it comes out in April. April 25th, I think. So I have a four-page story in that with Ryan K. North. Or Ryan North. I can't remember if he has a K in the middle of his name. The writer of Squirrel Girl. So you'll see me on there. Um, what else is going on? Um, I have some covers coming up for Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, I have a cover coming up for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the issue number 82, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so you can check out my work at facebook.com forward slash Robson Inc. Uh, but I'm most active on Twitter, at Robson Inc. And this is all Robson I-N-K. Uh, so R-O-B-S-O-N-I-N-K. Uh, I'm on Instagram, at Robson Inc. Uh, I just got that new uh, social media, Valvo, or whatever the hell it's called. But uh, I'm having problems with it. And of course, you can check me out on my YouTube channel, where I will do more little artsies for you. Uh, let me just check the chat before I go, just in case I missed any final questions. Um, do, do, do. Yes, we're still going. Hi, watching this really makes you realize how slow I draw you, practically breezing through this. <laughs> well, thank you. It takes a long time to get that quick. Enjoyed it. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much.